I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss the relation between the central angle and the inscribed angle. I have mentioned this as rule number 2 under circle theorem. As I mentioned earlier, rule numbers may not match with the numbers in your book. However, it's the same concept. So let's understand the concept and move on. The rule is the angle at the center is double the angle at the circumference. We could also say that central angle is twice the inscribed angle. So I have used two terms here. One is the inscribed angle. One is angle at the circumference, right? So your questions may have similar wordings. Both mean the same thing. Let's understand them first. So we're talking about an arc QR. So we have an arc QR. The inscribed angle is, is angle QPR. So this angle is the inscribed angle. The central angle is QCR. What the arc QR makes at the center is Q CR, right? The relation between the two is that twice the inscribed angle, or we refer to as the angle at the circumference, since point C is on the circumference, point P is on the circumference, so we normally refer to this as angle at the circumference, is half of the angle at the center, which is called the central angle. So you could say central angle is twice the inscribed angle, correct? I hope the rule is absolutely clear. Now based on this, we could have some questions. So let me, we already have one here. We are given the central angle of 110. You need to find the inscribed angle X. So from this rule, you know x is equal to half of 110, right? 110 divided by 2, which is 55 degrees, right? So that is how you could find angle. Circle theorem is all about finding angles when lines and circles are involved. Okay, so let me create another question here. I'll put it in kind of reverse fashion. Let's say this is the angle at the circumference and the central angle is kind of like this and here if I give you this angle as let's say 42 degrees then what is the central angle what is the central angle let's say what is x here now from the rule it is very clear that it should be twice the inscribed angle so in this case x is 2 times 42 degrees which is 84 degrees is that correct now let me take a very special case and let's say that we are talking about diameter and we take a point on the circumference let's say that's the point which we have taken now you have to tell me this time what is the angle y we know c is the center of the circle we need to find y clearly we can see that let me label it is better or we can say angle c is a straight line which is 180 degrees y is the angle at the circumference so y should be equals to half of 180 degrees right that is 90 degrees so from here you get a very important rule which we'll call rule number three that in a semicircle a triangle will always have 90 degrees as the inscribed angle or the angle at the circumference right do you see that half of 180 is 90 so always 
in a semicircle this angle at the circumference will be 90 degrees so i hope you find it interesting i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe to my videos thank you and all the best